This story concerns the asterism known as the uh, Big Dipper. For a lot of First Nations people, this story represents various animals. And the foremost among them is the Big Bear. And then uh, the Cree language is called Mistamasqua. The legend talks about what the uh, wages of being a bully are, and how even the, uh, the littlest of animals can bring down the most ferocious. The way the story goes is that uh, long ago there was a uh, big bear which roamed the country. And this bear was the hugest, of course, biggest, the meanest, and therefore it did what it wanted to do. It preyed on everybody, every spiritual being on the face of Mother Earth. And this went on for years and years. The bear stole winter supplies, ripped up camps, killed spiritual beings, killed the animals, killed humans. And so one day, all these beings had a big meeting and they decided that they were tired of being afraid of this bear. And so it was decided that the bear would have to go. Seven hunters were chosen. Seven of the best trackers and seven of the best shots. Small birds were sent to do away with this bear. They went hunting for the bear, but the bear was forewarned by the raven and the crow that there were hunters after him. And so the bear, upon hearing that he was being hunted, took off and the, uh, the birds chased him. And the way the elders say is that the chase was on and it went around the world four times. It uh, circled the globe. And on the fourth time, they were going so fast that they came up over the horizon and they flew into the air. This happened to be just around September, October. And as they flew into the air, the bear saw that the hunters were gaining on him and he was getting tired. So he turned and he faced his attackers, his hunters. And just as he did that, uh, one of the lead birds got a shot and mortally wounded that bear. So that bear was bleeding profusely as he stood and faced his hunters. And he shook just like a dog shake when it's wet. And as he shook, all the blood he was bleeding fell to the earth and landed on all the broadleaf plants. So that's why our elders say that in, uh, around September, October, all the leaves change color because of the blood of that bear. They also go on to say that when that bear shook, a droplet of blood hit that lead bird, the one that shot the, the bear right in the chest, and he, today he has a red breast. And for the Cree people, they call that uh, that bird, pee pee itself, the robin. And that's why the robin today has a red breast. And so they got rid of that bear to forever warn everybody about the wages of being a bully, of abusing your power that Big Bear was put in the sky. And also to honor those seven birds, they placed those birds in the sky, right in front of that Big Bear. That lead bird, Pee Pee Chow, is the brightest star in that, uh, that constellation. And that uh, Pee Pee Chow, the robin, was also given a special egg. And that egg represented the color of the sky. And on that egg, there were speckles to represent Atagosuk, the stars. And that's why our elders uh, always warn the children never to uh, harm a robin because uh, it's a special bird, that's a creator's bird. And that is the legend of uh, Mr. Masqua, the big bear.